today i'm going to be teaching you all how to make a photo frame we'll take this thick card and we're going to be making a 4 by 3 frame uh, where you can put a, a photograph of 4 inches by 3 inches in size so first of all we'll mark out what all we need to cut so we need at least 2 inches 2 to 3 inches over and above the actual photograph size so we're taking 7 inches over here let's cut that out first apply pressure and cut it out now over here since it's a 3 inch uh, photograph 4 by 3 so 3 plus 3 is around 6 inches so okay measure up 6 inches and cut this up Now the same thing we are going to do for this other card paper. So all we'll do is just place this on top. Measure out the size and cut it. So both are the same. Now one is going to be our back and one is going to be our front. So we need to cut out a window of the size 4 by 3 for our photograph. Once again we measure it. So we are leaving one and a half inch over here. And we are marking our space. So that's one, two, and three inches. Once again, one and a half inches left over here. Same thing go down. One, two, three, one and a half. Mark it with a pencil. Now, four inches. Once again, we leave one and a half inches over here. So one, two, three, four. same thing down align it mark it 1 2 3 4 same thing here so this is an exact 4 by 3 space over here now we're going to cut alongside that cut it out that's the window that's how it's going to look now let's start covering this up so we've got lovely handmade paper which we are going to be using so let's start with the back first place the back portion on paper leave about an inch to stick it and you don't need to really measure out stuff because this is not going to be seen that's it Now we'll apply glue over here. Start in a circular pattern. We place it on top over here. Apply pressure. Now since we want to attach this over here like this we'll be cutting this portion like so okay you'll have to apply pressure over here and stick it so what we can do is just crease it use any blunt tool Now we'll apply glue over here. Same circular pattern. Okay. 
just start pressing these sides together this is how it will look now since this window will come over here this space is empty so I don't like to leave it like this so I usually cover it with another contrasting paper so we shall cut out a shape like this this is how it will come over here so let's put some glue over here same circular motion stick the sheet over here press it down and that's it we leave it to dry and we'll work on the window now for the window I usually use light sheets now this is a beautiful light sheet which I've got once again the same method there's no need to measure it as such same thing for the bottom there we go Now we're gonna stick this. So apply some glue on top. Press it down. And once again, cut along the sides. Since we need just about one inch of paper over here, so we'll cut a small square. Make an incision over here. Now we stick all these to the mount board. Once again, same thing, let's do a little creasing so it's easier for us to bend the paper. Same thing over here. Let's apply some glue. apply some pressure same thing over here you can use old corrugated sheets also but I prefer using the mount board the corrugated sheets give up a puffed up look this is more flat now we'll place this on top of this that's how it's gonna look so let's stick this up same thing circular motions now we'll have to apply glue only on three sides because you want to slip the photograph in from top or from the side and we place it on top over here Apply pressure. Now let's decorate this with some quilt flowers. You can take whatever color you like. I usually take two sides. Place your flowers first along with leaves. Decide what comes where, how it will look. Keep a few of these flowers ready always, that helps a lot. And now we'll stick this up. Now for these, you just apply a little bit. Use the tweezer, hold it down, and press it in. So now we need a stand or a base or something like that for this to keep this standing. So we're going to use the window which we cut up over here, cut it in half. 
So this is going to be our stand. Now we need to stick this with paper. So once again I'm using this with this dark thing over here. So we'll cut up this part. And this is how we're going to place it. Stick this. Fold this over here. Same thing over here. So let's stick this part up first. So we need this long paper. Stick it. Make sure that the mount board is not seen. Crease this over here. Crease this over here. And fold this up like this. So this is the excess part which we'll cut off. So we need to glue this part up and this part, the ends. And you have to decide whether you want it horizontal or vertical. So I'm looking at vertical, so I'm going to be attaching it over here. Take the center and press it down. And it'll open up like this and sit like this. That's it. As simple as that. So this is a vertical frame and I made another horizontal frame just in the same way and we're done. As simple as that.